<coughs> OP42 is clinical pathological profile of cutaneous leishmaniasis in army personnel in the Kilinochi and Ulatibu districts of Sri Lanka by H.T. Vijay Singhal, who will make the presentation. N. Gulatilaka, SMG, KPN Patirana, N. Malampiri, MBC De Silva, and S.T. Fernando. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my presentation is titled Clinical Pathological Profile of Cutaneous Leishmaniasis in Army Personnel in the Kilinochi and Milutiva districts of Sri Lanka. This was a collaborative study conducted by the uh, Faculty of Medicine Kalambu and Kalania and the Sri Lanka Army Corps. Um, at the onset, I'd like to um, um, acknowledge the fact that this study was has been published recently in the journal Biomed um, Research International. Leishmaniasis is a neglected tropical disease caused by an intracellular protozoan of the genus Leishmania. Clinically, it presents in three forms, visceral, mucocutaneous and cutaneous. The causative organism of both cutaneous and visceral leishmaniasis in Sri Lanka is Leishmania donovani mon 37. Our objective was to describe the clinical pathological features of cutaneous leishmaniasis among army personnel serving in two northern districts of the country. This was a collaborative cross-sectional descriptive study conducted from November 2018 to November 2019. 5,000 army personnel were screened by trained army public health inspectors for clinical features of cutaneous leishmaniasis. The identified individuals were evaluated at the dermatology clinic uh, in the army hospital Colombo, and 78 patients with suspicious lesions were then investigated further for the identification of the organisms. They underwent slit skin smear, lesion aspirate, tissue impression and histology and all cases in which Leishmania organisms were detected by at least two of the methods were included in the study, resulting in a sample size of 50 cases. These 50 cases were then I, uh, further analyzed for the histopathological features. We looked at changes in the epidermis and the dermis and looked for the presence of organisms that were quantified based on the Ridley parasitic index. Based on the pathological changes and the presence of organisms, the overall histological pattern was characterized by modifi modified Ridley criteria. The RPI was then correlated with the epidermal and dermal changes and with the clinical features, mainly the type of lesion and the duration of lesion. The majority of patients were male with a mean age of 32.24 years. The mean evolution time of the lesions was 31.55 weeks. The majority presented with a single lesion, which was either a papule nodule or ulcer, and in most, it, the lesion was on the upper limb. Epidermal changes were seen in almost all of the patients. And in the dermis, what we saw was a chronic mixed chronic inflammatory infiltrate of varying severity. The majority showed granulomatous inflammation with well-formed epithelioid granuloma in 44%, ill-defined granuloma in 38%, and a diffuse infiltrate in 18%. The infiltrate was macrophage predominant in the majority and most showed extensive inflammation. Necrosis was usually absent and when present was focal. We looked for the characteristic um, dot and dash organisms and we saw organisms in 44 of the cases and most fell into an RPI of 2 to 3. According to the modified Ridley index, the majority of cases fell into groups 2 and 3. On correlation of the organism load with the clinical and pathological features, the organism load showed a positive correlation with nodule formation and a positive correlation with transepidermal elimination of the organism. There was a negative correlation of the organism load with granuloma formation, and we were not able to um, demonstrate a association with the duration of lesion. So we saw three different patterns of chronic inflammation, a diffuse infiltrate, ill-defined granuloma and well-defined granuloma. As granuloma formation increased, the organism load decreased. This organism load and the presence of granuloma showed no correlation with the duration of lesion. However, granuloma formation is part of the immune response and as the immune response improved, we saw a reduction in the organism load. There are two main mechanisms of um, um, 
parasite elimination of leishmaniasis that have been described, activation of intact macrophages and necrosis with destruction of the macrophage. In our study, necrosis was not prominent, macrophage was the prominent cell, and granuloma formation was associated with a reduction in organisms. Therefore, in Leishmania donovani, we be, this suggests that parasite elimination is due to macrophage activation resulting in epithelioid granuloma formation. Thank you. Thank you. Time for discussion and questions. That is not correlation test, it is test for association. Any comments with regard to treatment? Um, we did not just see what we were looking here at was not how they were treated. What we were looking as, um, at the clinical features and um, how they correlated what, with what we were seeing pathologically. And we wanted to describe the pathological <coughs> spectrum that we saw so that we could um, um, get a better understanding of the mechanisms of um, involved in clearing the organism. So we believe that the macrophage plays a more prominent role than necrosis. No more questions? No more questions? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.